Hello again, gang. Jay Wower here. The Oldham days over there, and there's been a lot happening since you were last here. We've had transfers in, we've had transfers out. We're not just in a playoff picture anymore. Oh no, we could go up automatically when the media think we're going to be 23rd. We've also got a fourth round FA Cup tie against Fulham in today's episode, so strap yourselves in, gang. It could be a longer one. Deadline day approaches. Let's get into it. There we go. Second in the table on goal difference ahead of Huddersfield. Kane Fuller Love still dominating the charts. He's top of every single one, including player of the matches now in the league. Uh, where do we even begin? Let's go to transfers first. It seems like a January sale. Everybody must go at the moment. And let's see who has gone. Sammy Robinson has left the building. He wasn't playing this season. Uh, with a heavy heart, I let him go. But again, like I say, he wasn't playing. Didn't really want to play him. I wanted to be playing like Ndongola and Worm Leighton's better. So yeah, I let him go. Thanks for being a great servant to the club, Sammy. Ty Soji, again. Annoyingly, he didn't um, go for a bit more money, £600,000. But again, he wasn't playing. I was too busy playing Kane Fuller Love, Santos, Leighton Stewart. So yeah. Um, Rafty Pedder we already knew about. A few other players are like Callum Jones, Daniel Harvey. They have gone out on loan and they will not be returning. They have got future transfer fees sort of locked in. We've bought Jacob Chalmers from Linfield, another Northern Irish player. £625,000 was his minimum fee release clause. He's on 5k a week. We've left him there at Linfield for now. He's... I don't know how I feel about him, I'll be honest with you, but he's got bags of potential and he's now his value has already skyrocketed since I bought him, so I'll take it. I will take it. Um, moving to the senior squad. And then this guy... I, I, have I bought him just because of his name? Possibly. Fenton Pinkerton is probably one of the best regen names I've ever seen in terms of a name. Apparently he's a good Skybet League 2, good player for most Skybet League 2 sides. If we just look at his polygon and we look at his attributes, right, and we compare him to Jack Kingdon, Fenton Pinkerton, I'm never going to get tired of saying that name, and he is going to be full named throughout. Get used to it. Put your favourite regen names in the comments down below because I love to see them because they're fantastic. There's been some great ones in the uh, they've been memed in the past. Anyway, he's as good as Jack Kingdon, if not better in some areas. He's better in some, slightly worse in others, but overall he is as good as Jack Kingdon, who is worth 7.2 to 9.4 million. Jack Kingdon is our captain or vice captain. And if we look at him, he's a good Skybet Championship player. They're about the same ability. So that, that your, if your play, uh, scout or whatever is saying a player is only good for a certain division, ignore that. Greedy Guts Cannoneer has decided to lower his wage demands and has got himself a bumper new deal at £9,500 per week. Didn't want to pay that much, to be honest, for Oakley. But with Ty Soji leaving, and I thought, let's keep Oakley around for the time being. He's, he's worth quite a bit of money. I'd love to sell him. In an ideal world, he was going to leave on a free, so he was worth the extra money. And he's not a bad player. I mean, he's come off the bench 12 times this season. He's not started that many games. He's only scored three goals in the league, but he's got one in the FA Cup and two in the Carabao Cup. So he's got six overall. He feels like he pops up with a goal here and there. In terms of the schedule then, after we beat Blackburn, who were top of the league, we played Huddersfield, who were in second place, and as you've seen, are still in second place. And we're only level on points because of this fantastic win here. 2-0, Santos in the third minute, Alex Lowry with a penalty in the 61st. Followed that up with a dismal 2-1 defeat to Coventry, you can see here, 94th minute. We did well though. We were 1-0 up, down to 10 men because of Ian Fitzgerald with an elbow. Tit. And then we lost 2-1. And we snatched a draw off Portsmouth after being 1-0 down. Portsmouth, who are currently 21st. I think they were 23rd at the time. This is where we this is where we fell to about 5th, 6th, maybe even 7th. And I was like, oh, here we go. This, we're out of the playoff picture now. But we came back. Two goals for Santos in a 2-1 win against West Brom. Before doing the double over Huddersfield with a 1-0 win. Mark Coles with the only goal of the game. And then the turn of the year came and... I thought the turn of the form had arrived as well. Jude Soonsup Bell, who we we had a glance at in the offseason when he was leaving whoever he was at on a free, and I went, mm, I've got too many strikers. No. Well, that came back to bite me, didn't it? Not that he would have played. I mean, I don't, you know, 1 0 to Preston. Then we lost 3 1 to Brentford. Um, yeah, we 1 0 up. 
77th minute, Brentford equalised. 82nd, they went ahead. 93rd, they made it 3-1. Pretty disappointing, really. Before an FA Cup tie against Southampton, and it was a 3-2 win, and it was fabulous. It was 1-0 to Southampton early on. Lions with the goal. But it wasn't for too long. Nine minutes or so, we came through. Kane full of love. Cross to Santos. Knocks it home. Beautiful. 1-0. 1-1. One one. And then Kane full of love got himself in the clear and made it 2-1. So we were 2-1 up. All right, innit? On the hour mark, Southampton did find the equaliser and it felt like it was academic from there. They did seem to have the better of it. Did they? I was, I was hoping for a draw and then Oakley... We, we, we changed system. I brought a central midfielder off, one of the three. Ashley Lloyd, who's on the right, moved Oakley into an inside forward role. There he is. Right? Tactical genius. 91st minute. Look at this. Oakley bursts in on the inside forward. Bang. Bad goalkeeping from Alban Lafont, to be fair. But tactical masterpiece. Yeah, Ashley Lloyd came off and Oakley was in up here. Amazing stuff. 92nd minute. And in this game, it's QPR. We've just won in the 92nd minute. Well, we were 2-0 up. Sorry, 2-1. 1 0 down. Went 2-1 up. 89th minute from Leon Bailey made it 2-2 and then in the 92nd minute and then the 94th minute we scored so 4-2 we won insane then we followed up with a 3-0 win against Bristol City another goal for Oakley off the bench there and finally a 1-0 win against Watford Kane full of love with a penalty so today we are back for the game against Derby in the Championship who are currently sitting in 17th so I'm expecting to win that game and we've got Fulham who are currently sitting 14th in the Premier League see they're on about me bringing him back on loan, from loan. They've just got a message saying, bring him back. He's good enough to be a squad player. Because I've just bought Fenton Pinkerton, I think we're going to leave Gareth McCann out there because he is, he is just still a smidge slow for me, but he's gone up from nines to tens on pace. So I think I'm going to bring him back and next season to play him a hell of a lot. In terms of the finances then, we have got £21,000 in the wages still available to us and £1.7 million in the transfer budget. I've also gone into the scouting budget and I've increased that. So I've now got the full scouting range of Europe at my disposal. The world is... I mean, I can afford it. Go on, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's just have a worldwide scout. Sod it. Uh, yeah, so we've come back for deadline day. I don't think I'm going to do anything on deadline day. I'll be perfectly honest. But never say never. And considering we're coming back for the game straight after deadline day, I thought I might as well bring it here and you can watch it do nothing. I mean, I'll pretty much just edit it and gloss over it if, if nothing happens, but... It's always nice to see the yellow interface, isn't it? So here we go. Transfer deadline day. Apparently, I am rumoured to be in for these kind of players. Norwich could want Ian Fitzgerald and Ashley Lloyd. Oh, Ryan Cassidy as well. He's now always oh, up at 3.7. Yeah, the other day. Do you remember? Was it the other episode when Shamrock Rovers came in for about 3.4 and I turned it down? Well, I'm massively regretting that now. Taking part in deadline day then. The problem is I'm still not good enough in terms of players are not wanting to come in look how many signings should be made today according to the olden fan poll i'm in the way let me get out of the way quick three plus is 63 percent that's a lot isn't it 14 hours remaining in the transfer deadline day and johnny chambers for chesterfield he looks all right doesn't he rob jenkins is better Keith mcglone is a defensive midfielder not as good as johnny chambers johnny chambers discuss availability i'm going to make an offer and we're going to lowball them he is 24 years old, so he's probably there at his potential. So he moved for 2.2 million and he went down to League One. No offers for Cassidy. Matteo Schwartz is 26 years old. He's a free agent. I'm not sure if I want him. Got 16 on corners. He could be a fantastic little uh, option for me. 7.5 of 6.5. He's accepted 6.5. He's not as physical as I'd like him to be. I think I've got dazzled by the corners because you don't score many corners. He's got a good work rate, good teamwork. He's, he's an all right player. I think he'd do a job once initially agreed playing time. Hello. God, look at this. Look at that. He's a scary looking fella, isn't he? Most sinister of mono brows. He's got 17 finishing. I'm getting dazzled by that. I need to calm down. He's not slow. His contract expires in six months. Do you know what? I'm going to scout him. I'm going to add to shortlist for six months. So he's 24 years old. He's not worth a lot of money. He's... He's physical. I do like a physical player in this sort of box-to-box -box ball winning midfielder role. I really like the look of him. Let me compare him to uh, Rob Jenkins. He's as good as Rob Jenkins. And I just spent 1.8 million on old Rob Jenkins, who's been good for me. Don't get, don't get it twisted. He's been fantastic. 
Right, I'm going to offer. I'm going to offer them 170,000 pounds. They want... Oh, they, oh, they want to sign a replacement first. They've locked that in. £400,000. I do like him. I'm going to accept the demands. I don't need him. I'm not desperate for him, but I like the look of him. Victor Chukwudi. A great name as well. Like, that's worth, the, worth the transfer fee alone, surely. Look at this. Open to joining Oldham, this guy. He's, he's rated at a D. He's crap. No wonder he's open to joining me. I'm going to remove that preferred position because we don't play a ball when we're fielding in the middle. I think he's defensive. Um, he only wants £3,400 a week. And I'll be honest with you, I want a longer contract. So you can have... £4,400 a week on the max length. He loves it. Maybe I could have got him for a bit less, but I think I think for a player of his calibre, just over four grand for the next four years. Realistically, I won't want to keep him after that point because I'll be in the Premier League, I would have thought. I think I'm probably going to be... The way I'm going, I'm probably going to go up next season. Wow, 23 years old. He's a good player as well. Ball winning midfielder, great aggression, great bravery, decent tackling, great strength. Am I going to buy another defensive midfielder? I think I might be. Could, I could very well be. 60k and 600k. Wow, 325k straight in there. They love it. At 23, he's probably not going to get much better, which is unfortunate. And he is going to be a bit more pricey. But I'm going to do three years. There we go. I'm going to lock him down for a bit. I'm not sure... If I need him, especially because I want to be playing McGlone a lot more, but I don't know. I just feel like they're going to go and I'm going to need players to come in and sort of fill the, fill the void, fill the gap. All right, Kavan has come in. I haven't scouted him. But at 23 years old, he's not a massive outlay financially. £7,500 a week is not ridiculous money, especially considering we are pushing to up our wage bill so let's get him in yeah he, he's got a bit more potential in him he, like i say he's 23 i'm pleased with the business we've done in january very pleased wow this guy 550k look at this guy for a left back i'm gonna loan him um i'll pay his entire wages um but i want a uh mandatory future fee uh, we've, we've just snuck him in on loan the chuck woody deal has fallen through. I have I've bought a different player, a different replacement player. I might revisit him, but I feel like I feel like he wouldn't improve massively on where we are. And what I need to be looking at is is he going to be good enough for the Premier League? Probably not. There we go. So Blackburn, look at this. All these teams over a million pounds. We are no longer bottom of the player wage expenditure. We're on hundred ninety thousand pounds per week, which is level with Birmingham. In terms of our finances, we've got just under a million pounds in the transfer kitty. All the money that's come into the club from previous sales. Thank you very much. Still got eight thousand pounds in the transfer in the wage budget. But financially, we're doing absolutely fine. Really happy with that deadline day. That deadline day was bloody brilliant. Two good signings. Ryan Cassidy's not gone yet. This is going to be the team that we're going to line up with today. Um, Sander and Kavanagh are both going to be on the bench. Right, this is going to have rumbled on really long, this video. I do apologise again. We had a very, a very busy deadline day. Uh, and now we've got the game against Derby. Before we have the FA Cup against Fulham, we've still got two games to play. So I'm going to try and just condense these highlights a little bit. Here come, then, here come Derby then in the sixth minute. Gibbons on the right. Cuts inside to Coleman. Simon. To Jebison. Oh, Daniel Jebison. Well, there we go. The highlight finally. Not a lot's happened. They're just going to cut out some of the key highlights, just being your very key highlights for this one. Not needed to. Full of love. And he pull it across. Davies! Alan Davies! It's another assist for Kane full of love. I mean, what a player. What a player. Oh, straight from kickoff, and Derby have lost it. Harrison Burrows, back to Atkinson now. Donning the armband. Burrows. Find Kane. Kane knows where to run. Great run. Across. Coles. <gasps> Imagine. We could win the league. Look at this. We're four points behind Blackburn. They've got a game in hand. Deb debuts for the two new signings. Um, Alan Sander. And whatever his name, Kavanagh. Atkinson, back to Montoya. 
Not the best. Here come Derby. Sharp played in. Great block. Gibbons. Oh, blocked by Sander. Can Coles get it away? Here comes Jenkins now. Long ball to full of, full of love. Oh, bad touch. Alan Sander again. Into Atkinson. Here we go. Here comes Jenkins. Kavanagh. Stewart. Rises. Doesn't get there. But Kavanagh's got it back. Full of love. Great ball to Stewart. Stewart's away. Leighton Stewart, you put your house on this. Round the keeper. 2-0. The great form continues. Straight after conceding a highlight from kickoff. Once again, here come Derby. Keeping hold of the ball this time. Coleman. Sharp. Ooh, over the bar. Hedges with the corner. Back. Semenyo. Back to Hedges. Lewis outside the box. Finds Cone Doherty. Oh, Trent Cone Doherty with the goal. He won. Stewart. Back to Fitzgerald. Coles. Davies. Jenkins. Sander. Alexander into Kane full of Davies. It's another assist for Kane full of love, and that's Davies's second of the game, isn't it? That combo again, and all of a sudden the nervy last few minutes is no longer nervy. Sander to Davies, back to Sander, crosses it in. Ooh, wayward. Burns through to Hedges. Can Derby get another one back? Jebison, they can. All of a sudden, it's nervy again. What is it with it? Like, late drama. The QPR game was like this. I've given it the big and all, all game. We best not draw or lose. No more highlights. No more highlights to speak of. Fantastic. The game is over and we've won 3-2. We could go up. We genuinely could go up. Look at this. We, I mean, we're already clear of relegation. I know it's ridiculous to say when you're this far up the table, but when your goal is to avoid relegation, 55 points is a very safe amount of points. So to be there with 16 games to spare. Three assists for Kane Fuller love in that game. Unbelievable. Right, let's get to the game against Fulham. Oh. We can't register this guy. I forgot about this guy. Matteo Schwartz. This has just come through. Um, oh, he's potentially injury prone. Wendell has noted from Schwartz in medical history that he may be fairly prone to injury. I don't think I'm... The corners that I was after, but would I play him in the Premier League? I'm going to cancel it. I don't need him. I forgot all about him. He shouldn't have bugged about. If it had happened on the 31st, I'd have taken him in. There we go. We are home to Fulham in the FA Cup fourth round. Can we keep this run going? Coles. Back to Kingdon. The crowd is out here. There's a lot, of, a lot of bodies in there. Jenkins, I think, is offside. Maybe not. Burrows. Coles. Oh. Jenkins has now got a knock. Did not want to see that. Um, what of an hour in? We're going to have to bring Nunes on then. McGlone to Wormleyton. Coles. Oh, rubbish. Got to be better than that. These are the kind of games we'll be playing week in, week out next season. Maybe. Maybe the season after. Full of love. Go on, Kane. 1 0. Only 1 0. 22nd of the season for Kane Fuller Love. I can't believe I got him for free. He's been probably the best signing so far. Certainly this season. Mark Coles to Kane Fuller Love. What a pass. What a finish. Composed as you like. And we've, we've had the better of it. We've had more shots. Better XG. We are showing Fulham who we are. Mosquera now. Oros gets in there. Down the wing. Oh, Kane Fuller. Oh, brilliant. 
Mm. No one's out there except Worm Layton picks it up. Pass it inside. Why is he shot? So I'm going to wait till like 55, 60 minutes. Although I do think I want to bring Keith McGlone off. He's on a yellow card and not playing great. Actually, it's happening now. Because Harrison Burrows is also um, playing poor and on a yellow card. So Dean Kavanagh and Alexander. So the new boys are coming on. There is three of the five subs. We've got two more available to us. Nunes. Back to Montoya. Kingdon. Coles. Oh, God, Coles buggers about with it. Nearly loses it. Nunes. Full of love. Davis. Oh, what's happened here? Leighton Stewart's through. Come on. Go on, Leighton. 2 0. Have a bit of that, Fulham. Eh? What a finish. 2 0. We will take it. Here we go. Davis wins the ball. <sighs> We've lost it again. Nunes. Full of love. To Stewart. Oh, Leighton has just twice he's just given up the ball in this this highlight. And now they've come through and should have scored. Let's 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 be real, gang. That should have been 2-1. If I was the Fulham manager now, I'd be subbing that guy off. I'd be fuming. As it is, I'm happy. Get up there, Nunes, Atkinson, Sander. Too close, all of you. Spread it out. Kingdon. Coles is on. Out to Worm Leighton. Find Stewart. That's it. Inside to Coles. Leighton Stewart is coming off. I'm sorry. I know he's just scored, but his touch today has been abysmal. Uh, Oakley Cannonier, he's got he's got an engine as Oakley, and he really does put a shift in. Jack Kingdon's playing poor. Do I bring do I make my last sub? I can't make another sub, so it's it's now or never. Go on then, Fenton's coming on. I feel bad for bringing Leighton off because he has scored a goal, but that's why he's getting the seven point two or whatever. If you hadn't scored, he'd be probably getting a six point three. It's three nil. I'm waffling, slagging Leighton off. Kane full of love makes it three, and it's it's game over. I've arrogantly said it's game over. If it's not, and we and we go out now, I will look stupid. But with ten minutes left, I can't see Fulham coming back into this. But that's two Premier League opposition we've beaten on this FA Cup run to the fifth round. Pinkerton, Cannonier, Davis, find full of love. He does. Before, oh, what a save! What a save! Alan Sander, the cross, Davis, Nunes, hit it, Kavanagh, someone out to out to Sander. Sander's there. Are you head up, Worm Leighton, Cole's brilliant. Davis, have a shot. Ooh. Can Fulham grab one back? So Tiris to Duranville. They have got one back. It's too little too late. 3-1. There's 28 seconds left. He's running back with the ball. He thinks there's time. Let me tell you, mate. There is not. 3-1. We're through. No one gives a chance. Well done, guys. Absolutely insane. What an episode. Well, there we go then. Hull or Stoke with the FA Cup fifth round is the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Apologies, it's been a bit longer. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do you like the longer episodes or the shorter ones? Today, I'm going to try and condense this as much as I can, but I've been recording for about to tick over 57 minutes as I'm looking at it now. So yeah, it's probably going to be at least a half an hour one, I would expect. Thank you very much, guys. Do drop a like on it. I've had a great time. Hope you have too. Take care, and I'll see you soon.